this video which is how to use end of line resistors um, we're making this video as someone's commented asking about the resistors in the pack which are these little things here so i'm just going to cover them now as you can see this is lined up traditionally using six wires which are blue and yellow going into alarm zone white and green going to tamper and red and black going to 12 volt power now in a in a normal circuit like this what you have is the auxiliary tamper loop which is a complete loop going through all your sensors and if the loop gets broken the alarm goes off as you can see i've got the sensor here take the thing off the tamper it in. All goes off. And it tells you it's an auxiliary tamper fault but it doesn't tell you which zone it is which if you have all eight zones in place means you have to go around every single zone excuse the cat and find where the fault is to uh, make this easier for ourselves then we can use end of line resistors which will actually tell us which zone the fault is at so if we just clear this note let's we'll leave that Five, six, seven, eight, and reset. Fault's still there, but right. So the first thing you need to do then is find the resistors, and as you can see, there are two types of resistors here. There is the two K two, which is the top one, and the four K seven, which is the bottom one. And these are uh, identified using the multimeter. Then what you do is put the prong across uh, so as you can see on the meter it's now gone to 2k2 for this one and this one's 4k7 it's just uh, it's flickering about but it is 4k7 so the first thing we need to do then is <laughs> Get our sensor and remove these four wires here. Leave the power ones in place, just remove these four here. Pull these first three out and get them out of the way. Then under the blue one, just leave that one in place. And get your first resistor, which is the 4K seven and place it between the two alarm terminals so one's going in the same one as the blue wire and the other one's going in the terminal next to it just adjust these slightly try and get them in and just tighten up the one with the wire going into it as the other resistor, the 2K2, goes in between the second alarm terminal and the first tamper terminal. You can do both terminals this time because the, the wire goes into the second tamper terminal. Fold them up out there, out of the way. This time get your yellow wire or whichever wire you've got going to the alarm zone and plug it into the end tamper connection and tighten up as so. So what you've got is your blue wire coming in from the panel going through the 4K7 resistor then the 2K2 resistor and you've got your yellow cable going back to the panel. Before we do anything else, what we need to do is just the system to accept the change. What we do is pin in the engineer code. And go to zone setup. Find the zone we want and press tick. Until we get wiring. Now we need to press X and change that to double pole end of line. On some of the systems you might have to physically go down and find the uh, resistance settings but on this one 
It's just double pull end of line. Come out of that then. What I need to do now is cheer, is turn off the uh, auxiliary loop. Two ways of doing this, you can either put uh, a staple, some times you get them provided in the pack, between the two these two terminals, which creates a loop and constantly leaves the circuit closed. Or the other option is to go into global options. It's free for monitor hardware. Press X here and scroll across till you find auxiliary tamper. X again and tick to confirm. Come out the engineer's menu now. I'm just going to press the tamper button to stop the tamper fault. So come out the menu. And there we go, back to normal. This time for let go of the tamper switch. All goes off. As you see, it's now identifying zone one of the culprit. So I now know if I had a tamper fault, that the tamper fault is in zone one. I'm just gonna show you that the system sets as normal. So set the system. And I can restart the entry timer. I'm just going to ignore this just to show you that it still accepts the zone as the zone that you set it up as. System alert is zone one alarm, so it's still working as normal as we'd expect it to. We can clear the fault. Right on uh, some sensors like this one, you see they've got built-in resistors at the top. This so this saves you having to actually add these in. You literally just pull the pin out and put them across. It's done like this. There you got your your four K seven and your two K two. If I just Break these out of the way now. Yeah. Just take these out just for a second, just to show you. If you're wiring in using these, you'd literally just go from for the blue one going into the alarm and the yellow one going into the tamper. If you let go of the button, as you can see, you get the same result here. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, let me to go for anything, please comment below. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.